The natural world is a symphony of elegant movements. Birds in particular have always captivated our imagination with their ability to soar effortlessly through the air. This mastery of the skies is a testament to the power of aerodynamics. Aerodynamics is the study of how air moves around objects. It explains how birds, despite their weight, can achieve flight. From the smallest hummingbird to the largest eagle, every bird has evolved physical features that interact with the air, enabling them to fly, glide and even sleep on the wing. To understand bird flight, we must first grasp the concept of lift. Lift is the force that counteracts gravity, allowing birds to stay airborne. This upward force is generated by the shape of a bird's wing. Bird wings are curved on top and flatter underneath, forming an airfoil shape. This unique shape is crucial for generating lift. When air flows over the curved upper surface of the wing, it accelerates, creating an area of low pressure. Simultaneously, the air flowing under the wing encounters less curvature and moves slower, creating an area of higher pressure. This pressure difference between the upper and lower surfaces of the wing generates lift, pushing the bird upward. While lift is essential for getting a bird off the ground, another force constantly acts against it, drag. Drag is the air resistance that opposes an object's motion through the air. It's like an invisible force trying to slow the bird down. The shape and size of a bird, as well as its speed and the density of the air, all contribute to drag. Birds have evolved streamlined bodies to minimize drag. Their feathers also play a critical role, smoothing the airflow over their bodies and further reducing drag. By reducing drag, birds can conserve energy, fly faster and stay airborne longer. Understanding both lift and drag is crucial for comprehending the intricacies of bird flight. Birds generate lift not only through the shape of their wings, but also through their movement. This is where Newton's third law of motion comes into play. This law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. When a bird flaps its wings, it pushes air downwards. This downward push of air creates an equal and opposite force that propels the bird upwards. The powerful chest muscles of birds are specifically adapted for this task. These muscles power the downward stroke of the wings, generating the force needed to overcome gravity and propel the bird forward. The constant flapping of wings, combined with the lift generated by the wing shape, enables birds to achieve sustained flight. Another key principle contributing to bird flight is the Bernoulli principle. This principle states that as the speed of a fluid like air increases, its pressure decreases. We already saw how the shape of a bird's wing causes air to move faster over the top surface than the bottom. This difference in airspeed creates a pressure difference as described by Bernoulli's principle. The lower pressure above the wing and higher pressure below it contribute significantly to the lift force. This elegant interplay between the shape of the wing, the movement of air, and the principles of physics is what allows birds to achieve flight. Section six, masters of the sky eagles, falcons, and vultures. Eagles, falcons, and vultures are among the most impressive avian flyers. Each species has evolved unique wing shapes and flight styles perfectly adapted to their ecological niche. Eagles, known for their majestic soaring, have broad wings with slotted feathers at the tips. These slots help to reduce drag and allow for stable flight at slower speeds, ideal for soaring over vast distances while searching for prey. Falcons, on the other hand, are built for speed. Their pointed wings, resembling swept back wings on a jet plane, minimize drag and allow them to reach incredible speeds during their hunting dives. Vultures with their long, broad wings are masters of soaring on thermals. Their wings are specifically designed to exploit rising air currents, allowing them to conserve energy while searching for food over large areas. Section 7. Riding the Wind. Dynamic Soaring Explained. Some birds, particularly seabirds like albatrosses, have mastered a remarkable flight technique called dynamic soaring. This technique allows them to cover vast distances with minimal effort by exploiting the difference in wind speeds near the ocean surface. These birds fly in a continuous loop, gliding downwind towards the water's surface where the wind speed is lower. As they approach the surface, they turn sharply and fly into the wind, gaining altitude by utilizing the increased wind speed. 
This continuous loop combined with their specialized wing shape allows them to harness the energy of the wind and stay aloft for extended periods without needing to flap their wings. Section 8 Thermal Soaring Harnessing Nature's Updraft Another remarkable flight technique employed by birds like vultures, hawks and eagles is thermal soaring. Thermals are columns of rising hot air created by the uneven heating of the Earth's surface. Birds have an incredible ability to detect these thermals and use them to gain altitude. They circle tightly within the thermal, allowing the rising air to lift them higher and higher. Once they reach a certain height, they glide out of the thermal and towards their destination, conserving energy by minimizing flapping. This energy-efficient technique allows them to stay aloft for hours, scanning vast landscapes for food with minimal effort. Section 9. Flying in Formation, a marvel of avian cooperation. Many bird species, particularly those that migrate long distances, have developed the remarkable ability to fly in formation. This behavior is not just a visual spectacle. It provides significant aerodynamic advantages. By flying in a V formation, birds can reduce drag and conserve energy. The bird at the front of the formation creates an upwash of air that benefits the birds behind it. Each bird positions itself slightly above and to the side of the bird in front, taking advantage of this upwash to reduce its own energy expenditure. This cooperative behavior allows the flock to cover greater distances than any individual bird could manage alone, demonstrating the power of teamwork in the avian world.